Alright fellow punk rockers, huge movie fanatic Nate coming back at you with one of these very rare, pretty radical uh, music album reviews. So basically today, the Pennywise album Yesterday's just dropped. I heard it I think like somewhere around two weeks ago, I've had it for the last two weeks. It was on, uh, if you went to pennywisdom.com, you could, you could get a link to uh, basically all the songs on YouTube that was secretly on YouTube on Epitaph, you know, the Epitaph part of YouTube, and so, uh, <clears throat> it's probably not secret now, I imagine maybe all the songs are just available for you to, uh, stream or download off YouTube there, officially off, uh, Epitaph YouTube site. So, uh, I've been a Pennywise fan for, I think it's like 14 years now, and, uh, was kind of bummed when they or not, they didn't split up, but Jim Lindbergh, I can't remember exactly when he left, it was 2009 or whatever, I was like, oh man, but the last, you know, album at that time, which was Reason to Believe, I believe, was pretty cool, and I thought it was a little better than the last couple of records they put out, and I thought it was a, a well, a good way for them to go out, and it's always kind of like, oh man, I was kind of bummed, but, you know, they had left behind such a pretty great legacy that, oh well, you know, nothing lasts forever, or if you want to, uh, or as Greg Graffin says, everything must, yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll understand that if you've got the, uh, Gray Race record, so, um, and if you don't, it'll just, it'll, you won't get it, so I'm here to review, here to review yesterday's, now I don't own it, I'm just, like I say, I, I have it, uh, or heard it from YouTube, a couple weeks ago and I've been listening to it you know pretty much off and on ever since and I was really excited um, when uh, when first of all I seen YouTube videos of Pennywise on in, on tour in wherever in 2013 or 14 I'm like what the why you know I didn't even know Jim was back uh, it's kind of I don't understand you know honestly why the hell he went away he went away like in 2009 and he went off and found two other guys and did the, this record, the Black Pacific, which is kind of cool. It's, the word God is in it like more than three times, I think, which, you know, I don't appreciate, but it's pretty cool, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, so Jim went off and did, I don't quite understand why he left, and then in 2013, the rest of the guys who were left behind by Jim found a new vocalist who did a pretty good job on this all or nothing I actually like it you know for what it is and then this year like early this year I realized or found out that Jim was back and I'm like oh that's kind of cool you know I thought it was kind of lame like if you left you know stay gone I, to leave and come back is just whatever but I'm glad he's back and uh, and then just I don't know if it was four weeks ago or something maybe I, re I found out that they're going to put out a record this year, and I'm like, hell yeah, and then I found out <laughs> it was like, I think a lot, I don't know if all of it, but I think it's like the majority of the stuff on this record, which is called, titled Yesterdays, which I thought was kind of weird, because to call an album by the name of a previous song that they did, I'm pretty sure they did a song called Yesterdays, I thought was kind of weird to me, you know, but whatever, it's fitting after you realize that basically all the songs, I don't think it's all of them, I'm not sure, but I think most of the songs on this uh, new record are old songs that they never did before. So it's kind of like, I thought, well, that's kind of a cool idea, you know, and then uh, and then I heard it. So let's get down to it. I, I'm going to do a song by song uh, thingy I wrote down here on paper. So What You Deserve is the first track. Um, now, I'm not 100% sure, is a bridge the part of the song that's not the chorus? I, I think it is, and if it isn't, that's what I'm going to call the part of the song that's not the chorus. I like the bridge of this song, I like how it starts, and the chorus, I don't particularly like. Restless Time, uh, it looks like I wrote down, I mostly like it. So, this is a mostly cool song. Noise Pollution, I wrote down like song. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the one that's like, kind of like that whatever Minor Threat song that's like, you know, kind of like a Minor Threat song. Violence Never Ending, I'm gonna, you know, say is my best, is the best one for me. 
on this record, which which sounds to me like it could potentially be a new one and not an old one. Um, it's, what's kind of cool is they recorded all this stuff. They recorded, recorded this whole record in like three days and a couple takes for each song. That's kind of cool. I like that kind of stuff. Instead of spending months and months and months, you know, that's kind of gives it that whatever just, you know, garage punk rock thing just recorded in three days. Kind of cool. So track four, Violence Never Ending, is my favorite on here. And like I say, it, it sounds to me like it might be a new one and not an old one. Then, uh, I don't know, track five is Am Oi or whatever. Um, what did I write for that? Oh, I like the bridge and chorus, not too hot, I wrote. Thanksgiving, what I write? Don't hate it, don't love it. You know, it's kind of a song about just be thankful what you have and don't, you know, worry about trying to chase down what you don't have. Okay, and this is where we get into, uh, oh my gosh, track seven, She's a Winner. I love the start of it. And then the whole song just, you know, once the song starts, uh, I don't like it. It might be my least favorite one on here. You know, the chorus is just like, she's a winner, do 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 she's a winner, you know. So whatever. So, okay. Then we got Slow Down, which is uh, got a really cool start opening and then it just turns into whatever and I've, I don't understand I don't know where I've heard this song before I heard this song before somewhere and I don't know if it's just on some YouTube I don't know where I've heard it before but I heard it before I heard it on this Public Defender good song all around I wrote No Way Out I put Not Bad Not Great and uh, I Can Remember is uh, an all around good song I wrote down good closer so all in all I'd say this is one of Pennywise's weakest studio records um, you know and if you disagree that's that's absolutely you know I've had like two weeks to listen to it so this isn't just like I heard it today for the first time and made this decision it's it's like all around you know it's all over the place it's kind of like what the hell and I there's, there's certain songs on here that I can understand why they you know older songs where I can understand why they never recorded them or put them on a record because it's like, oh, so basically you're going to take old songs that you never recorded and put them on a record. Well, why did you not do it back then? I mean, if they didn't make the cut then, why did they make the cut now? So it's an interesting idea. You know, it's only like 11 songs, and apparently there's a special edition out with like maybe, I can't remember if it's two more songs or two extra songs or something like that. I, I don't... Um, I was really excited about this album when I heard about it, and then, like, I heard it, you know, on YouTube, and I'm like, oh, I don't even know if I'm going to buy it, to be honest. Um, that's that's how I feel about it. I don't really feel like, you know, <clears throat> like listening to it <clears throat> in the car. I don't, I don't know, I, you know, I, I, I can't see myself really wanting to listen, or leaving it in the car, you know, player very long, so... That's the only reason I'd buy it, just so I could put it in the car, because I don't all I all I play is CDs in the car. I don't have any newfangled MP3 playing, you know, dash in dash thing for the car. So, um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to buy this. Um, I'd, I'd say that, you know, like I say, it's it's one of the weaker Pennywise records. I'm glad they're back, but I'm like, oh shoot. You know, they're, they're only back in this capacity. It's just weird. I guess I'd rather have this than nothing. Um, like I say, Violence Never Ending is pretty badass and radical and, and all that Hermosa Beach talk and everything like that. But, uh, you know, feel free to let me know what you think. Be nice and don't, you know, don't freaking rap me out and say, what the fuck's your problem, man, dude? Because I'm entitled to my opinion as much as you are entitled to yours, so... So, uh, you know, like I don't even, th like I say, it just feels like it's all over the place. You know, I don't think it's even as solid as, you know, 
this thing, Black Pacific, you know, I feel like, you know, it's kind of all over the place and whatever, so I guess that'll pretty much do it for my Pennywise Yesterday's Album Review. Um, cover's kind of cool, um, and uh, like I say, it's probably all on, all on YouTube, so you can probably check it out. Check it out, let me know what you think, and thank you very much for watching.